Alright guys, so in my previous Hollaberry review video for her particular buff, I've actually told you guys that there is going to be a new Living Abyss team that you guys are able to do. So you guys are going to be able to see that Hollaberry right now is going to be using a full Swift Chocolate build. And this is the fact that she actually has a super, super high base HP stat and is going to absolutely exceed the amount of HP Werewolf is always going to have. And on top of that, because of the fact that we do have a lot of additional, you know, damage focus and the extra crit damage uh, reduction and things like that, in order to protect our cookies, Hollaberry Cookie is going to be able to help Werewolf stay alive and other cookies stay alive as well. So here we go, guys. This is going to be the team that has been shared and uh, it is going to be using Squid Ink again as well as Werewolf with Cotton and Macaron. So there are builds right here that you are able to use Moonlight. However, for majority of the players, because of the fact that you are probably going to already have Squid Ink Ascended as well as Magic Candy leveled up, Moonlight is going to do slightly less damage than Squid Ink. So it is going to be better to use Squid Ink inside of your team rather than Moonlight. But something I want to let you guys know before I get to the specifics of this video is that Hollaberry stats need to be really, really strong in order for her to survive because of the fact that we are using Swift Chocolate rather than Solid Almond. Although her HP stat is going to be higher, her damage resistance is going to be a little bit lower and she's going to be taking extra damage with her damage focus. So if your Hollaberry is not surviving from the test practice mode, then I would highly recommend you guys just replace our Hollaberry back with Milk and use that original team as before. But here we go, guys. Let's get into the toppings here. And it's going to be Hollaberry with full Swift Chocolate. We are using 16 to 17% cooldown here. That's what you really want to have it in order for Hollaberry to use her skill to protect the cookies and uh, take that damage for them. And on top of that, you do need to focus on damage resist in order for her to survive. So keep in mind, guys, the two things that you really need to focus on, it's going to be damage resist as well as cooldown. You don't need to have a ton of additional HP, but it is going to help. But because of the fact that her base HP is going to be higher than Werewolf, you don't really need to focus on it if that is going to be a problem for you. Next one is going to be Werewolf. Werewolf is using a 5 Juicy Apple Jelly here. I am using around 13.7% damage resist. Uh, if you get it higher, it might be better for you guys, especially if your Werewolf is still dying. But uh, you do want to have around 8 to 8.5% cooldown and then as high attack speed as possible. But I did have to sacrifice a little bit of attack speed in order to put more damage resist on my Werewolf. But make sure Werewolf does need to get the Enchanted Road buff. Next one is going to be Macaron. Macaron, the most focus uh, that you need to have is going to be the 24% cooldown. And then uh, if you guys can get uh, extra attack as well as crit percentage, it will definitely help out. But damage resist is not going to be too much of a problem here uh, because majority of the time Macaron as well as the back lane will survive. Next one is going to be our Squid Ink. Squid Ink is using a 5 of the Searing Raspberry here. This is going to be the exact same build as my Avatar of Destiny. But make sure to have the attack speed in order to get the Enchanted Robe buff. As well as around uh, 2 to 3% cooldown is going to be sufficient enough for you guys. And then of course if your Squid Ink is dying or it seems to uh, have take a little bit more damage. Then make sure to add a little bit more damage resist on the side. Next one is going to be our Cotton. Cotton is using our Swift Chocolate as well here guys. And then we are going to need at least 24% cooldown. And then of course damage resist is not super super required for the back lanes once again because they do tend to survive as long as the front line tanks are able to survive so we have zero percent damage resist on the side all right and then of course these treasures are going to be the enchanted rope scroll as well jelly watch so here we go guys let's get into the battle and let me show you guys exactly how this team works all right guys so here we go this is going to be the same build here you just need to do macaron as well as cotton and then you're going to queue up squid ink once again and then you're going to use hollaberry as well as werewolf all right and then everything else, you just need to go and auto everything here. And make sure to try and click as fast as possible your skills because your skills for Cotton as well as Macaron is going to be very, very important in keeping our Hollaberry alive. All right. So something that you want to try and check out uh, once you guys do use this build is whether uh, your Hollaberry is going to be able to survive until that 16 second mark before she gets eaten all right so she needs to be eaten uh and she needs to take the damage up to there in order for your werewolf to survive and deal the damage that uh you know werewolf is supposed to do until the end if not then you're just gonna lose out on a ton of damage and if that is the case then it's probably going to be better for you guys to go and use uh milk cookie instead of hollaberry here guys because uh, hollaberry is going to um, not 
pretty much not help you guys, right? So, right here, guys, you guys can see right there. My Holloberry kind of barely survives right there, and then she will die. She sometimes does survive, but she will die majority of the time because of the amount of HP that she has missing at the end. But not a problem because at the very end, my werewolf is still going to be able to do the damage that he is supposed to do. All right, and the maximum amount of uh, damage that I've gotten so far is 141 million, as you guys saw on the uh, title screen. But you can see right there, Werewolf is doing a ton of damage as well as our squidding. Something that I do want to recommend you guys, if you guys uh, can, of is of course try to take out as many attack speed of uh, you know substats as possible from your other cookies rather than Werewolf and Squidding because that's going to prevent uh, your Werewolf from actually taking the attack speed buff and sometimes not doing enough damage for you guys. But there you guys go. It is a Holiberry build, but of course, like I said before, if it's not working out for you guys, then I would say just sacrifice a little bit of damage and go with a Milk Cookie build still uh, that you guys have already seen in the past. It's still going to work. And Milk Cookie is actually going to deal a little bit more damage because of the fact that Milk Cookie did receive a slight buff. But of course, it's not as significant as we thought it was going to be. But it is still definitely a build that can be used and is still being used by other players as well. Just keep in mind, once again, that Hollaberry does need a bit more of the stats here with the defense as well as HP and a good damage resist in order for her to survive the entire run. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys found the video helpful. I will be updating you guys on the tier list very soon. But I thought it will be good to share these comps with you guys before in order for you guys to take advantage of it as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.